Infielder and former first-round pick Kyle Holder followed up a strong 2017 regular season with an invite to the Arizona Fall League, and he reveled in the opportunity. It's definitely an honor to be out here and be playing with guys, not only on our team, but with the other organizations as well. Just going out and, and getting to play with other infielders and face the best pitching in the minor leagues, it's, I mean, it's truly an honor and I'm just lucky to be out here. Holder's known as one of the best defenders in the organization and has been a shortstop for most of his baseball life. But in Arizona, he focused on an entirely new position. Second base is fun. I mean, it took a little bit to get used to. I did play some in Charleston in my low A season. I played a little bit last year, but it's, it's fun going out there day in and day out and trying to get better for sure. This is the first time I'm actually getting to see him play. And, uh, you know, he's as good as advertised, as good as what I've heard. Whenever you got a guy that, uh, that you can count on out there in the middle of the field to catch the ball daily, you know, he's a guy that you want to put in the lineup. Best defender I've seen. Shortstop, second base, third base, anywhere you put them. Fantastic defender. He's got an unreal glove, quick hands. I don't think I've seen him make an error, honestly, even in practice. If you're going to get a ground ball on somebody, usually want it to go to him. Defense has never been an issue for Holder. It's his bat that's had to play catch up at times. After a rough start at High A Tampa, he caught fire, batting 427 in August. He carried that momentum into the AFL and finished with a 333 average, adding three doubles and six RBIs over 11 games, all against the league's best pitching prospects. Facing the best talent in minor league baseball, I've got, gotten lucky a couple times and gone out and played well in the games that I have gotten to play. And, just trying to you know, go out there and get better every day and, and just make the most of my opportunity. Offensively, he made some great strides this year, hit some balls out of the park, but uh, really did a good job with his gap power. Uh, hit the ball uh, all over the field, which allowed him to have uh, a great deal of success. He's definitely developed a really good approach at the plate, and you can see it here. I'm just kind of focused on the moment right now. I haven't really thought about 2018 yet. Kind of want to finish strong here and go into a big offseason for me and kind of work on some things and get ready for spring training in 2018.